consumer hunger for crossovers increasing by the day. It may be easy to write off the launch of a new midsize sedan as no big deal. When the new midsize sedan is a Honda Accord, however, it's still very much a big deal. Through June, the Japanese automaker sold 160,091 copies of the current Accord. While that number lags behind CRV sales, moving 160,000 units of any vehicle in six months is no joke. Leading up to Friday's Detroit reveal of the 10th generation Accord, Honda offered some powertrain details and a teaser sketch of the 2018 model. We also got the chance to sample the 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder in a camouflaged mule not too long ago in Japan. But now, we've got information about the Accord's impressive suite of safety technologies along with photos to view before the new model arrives in showrooms this fall. From the outside, the Accord is slightly lower and wider. It's also shorter in overall length compared to the current car. A signature chrome wing grille, more aggressive fascia with large air intake, shorter overhangs, long hood and greenhouse pushed further to the rear give the new car a sportier look and stance. And the sedan will need to take up some of the coupe's sportiness. For those who may be wondering about the details on the new Accord Coupe, there's bad news. Honda has killed the two-door for the Accord's 10th generation, so if you want one, you'd better claim a current Accord Coupe while you still can. Heading inside, the front seats move inward, providing more hip, shoulder and headroom, while backseat passengers enjoy 2.5 inches of additional legroom, you can thank the 2.16-inch wheelbase increase for that. The seats themselves feature taller bolsters for better lateral support and variable firmness padding for higher levels of comfort. Things should also be quieter, with an acoustic laminated windshield and standard active noise control system, 